I'm Nate Stover. Um, I'm the founder of Innovative Spaces. A lot of our trailers you'll be able to identify because the side opens. They're not your normal trailer. You go in and there's moon roofs that open up. You know, nothing that you would ever see in an Airstream trailer. Just about every project has some areas that you get into where you're like, okay, you've got to go back to the drawing board here, figure out a workaround. It's never as straightforward as you think. These trailers are 50, 60 years old, and you know, they've been bounced down the road and abused. It, it's just like, it's, it's like monster garage. Everything is so finicky. You can't just come in and go bam, 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 done. You know, it's like you do, and then you'll look back and you're like, well, did you do this? Well, did you do that? Did you check the list? Ah, oh, shit. Take it all down, part of my French. I know it's confusing sometimes. I like the challenge, and it's always something different. I mean, it's never the same boring thing. And, you know, the other challenge, of course, is, um, is designing for the unforeseeable. Things Murphy's Law, if anything can go wrong, it will, hopefully not, but you know, we do everything to ensure that we have made a safe product that people can use out there. You look at, a, at any component on a trailer and you think, okay, I'm gonna think, how could someone mess this up? You know? <laughs> and so you try to cover every possible aspect that someone pushes the wrong button or operates it at the wrong time. It can be really frustrating at times, but at the end of a project, when you look at something like, like this, when, it, when it's all finished and done, and the owner is thrilled, it's rewarding. It, One of the things that sets us aside is we want to build something that's going to last as long as the original Airstream, if not longer. So we break down an Airstream for its components. The whole shell comes off. We, you know, we tear it all the way down to the little pieces. And then we start putting it back together and we build with better quality materials than the originals were built with. Hi, I'm Lauren. Um, I do interior design with um, Nate at Innovative Spaces and I just help bring his crazy imagination and all of his skills kind of to hone in on the design and just make a really beautiful trailer and home or office or um, you know, a vacation little spot. The whole process, uh, you know, it, it starts with a desire. And so a, a lot of times clients come with us with nothing but a desire to have a custom Airstream. So we got a couple pickers across the country who have their fingers on what's available. And so we'll find the trailer. Once we find the trailer that gets back here to the yard, once we have it to the yard, we can do all our measurements and make sure we have everything we need to design out their trailer. And the design process is kind of a back and forth. Um, definitely um, starts with meeting with the client. I just really like to get to know them first and just realize what they want to use that space for and their personality and their, you know, entertaining type, their adventure type, because it's such a small space that we have to make it really functional. Uh, and we start our demo process in the build. If I were to describe our crew, we're, we're a motley crew. Very distinct um, personalities. And oh, they're great people. They really are. Most of you are just super supportive and hilarious. It's a lot of fun. Um, everyone has such different personalities. You know, it's a, it's a tight-knit team. Um, more of a family than a team. You know, we all know what's going on in everybody's life. And it is a good place to learn, because each one of these guys kind of has their own specialties. Uh, my name is Pete Hoffman. 
my position at Innovative Spaces is a production manager, if I was to put a, a title to it. I think it's my, one of my natural gifts is to encourage. So to keep things on track, keep things organized, and encourage and move the team forward for profit, for excitement, and uh, workmanship, pride in, pride in the product. My name is Mark Viney. Um, what I do here at Innovative, I'm the yard manager. Um, so do pretty much everything. Uh, my name is Max Torres, Maxwell Torres, but um, call me Max or whatever suits your fancy. Um, I'm kind of the jack of all trades. I do everything. Uh, my name's Lucien. People here call me Lou or Lou Frog or Lou Dog in the van. Kind of depends on the day. Um, I do electrical. I'm learning electrical, and uh, they've been teaching me other stuff too, like sheet metal. Some carpentry. Uh, Tio's Nate's son, and uh, we end up doing a lot of the work that the other older guys don't want to do. The older guys have years of experience in the business, um, in building in general, you know, and the young guys come in with the energy and the motivation, and it really works well because they kind of feed off of each other. You know, the young guy's energy bleeds over to the older guys. The old guy's knowledge bleeds back to the younger guys, you know. And I'm kind of a goofball. I like to have that happy energy around the uh, around the yard. Nate's an amazing guy, really funny. <laughs> yeah, there's never a dull moment around here. Has a degree of spontaneity and humor that's uh, that, that really, uh, it's like a catalyst to the team. It's a hoot, man, he's a character. Good guy, real solid dude, really smart, knows what he's doing. Um, and he's just the right, yeah, he's got a good heart and a uh, good sense of humor. Take watch! No, Nate, Nate's a great guy. Um, real funny. He, um, he can take a joke as well as give it. You know, a lot of people get butt hurt real easy if you're just poking fun, but he grew up with like seven brothers. Young guys are important. They bring a lot of energy to the, to the job side, you know, and so the combination between the two, I think is always perfect. Plus, you gotta be training the next generation, you know, and there's a lot of there's a lot less value put in, you know, in blue collar work. When I come to work each day, what keeps me motivated is getting the job done and basically seeing everybody work together. I like when everybody's able to communicate and get something done and accomplish a goal. And I think that's really awesome. Yeah, I think this is my favorite job. So fun and so fun to see the client, like see it for the first time. <laughs> we got a lot of projects in the works that are gonna be pretty exciting to see. And we have, Clients who are mountain bikers and outdoor people. We have businesses and larger corporations that get our trailers for event trailers. It brings back that old Americana, you know, and people really like the feel of them. What you making, Pete? Oh. Well, I'm doing door hardware in uh, this trailer. So this is a template for the, for the edge floor of the lock set, plunger mechanism, and the inspection plate. So it's just a quick template at MDF. We will just take my accuracy and fit for you. And of course, we're excited about this project too. Airstream Motorhome, also 34 feet. Hmm, just a little less interior space because it does have the front cab area. So the captain's chairs aren't in yet and we're still completing the dash, waiting for the, the whole control panel to go in. But this has the skylights as well. And the skylights are just pretty freaking cool. I mean, it's, it's hard to complain about these things. I mean, you don't see that in every trailer, I'll tell you that. But that's not the end of our cool features in this one. We have the whole side of the trailer that opens up as a version of a slide out. 
and there's a big old couch that slides back into the space. So the couch will be sitting in a little past these end blocks here that, that hold all the hardware for the, sw for the swing out. And when you open it up, the couch pushes back onto this little deck. So you're actually sitting in this outside space. Up above, the top portion opens up. It's basically a clamshell. We're gonna have fixed glass in here so you have some built-in skylights over your little sitting area. And then we have a whole uh, Velcroed in fabric that goes around this whole surround to make it, to make it weatherproof. It's pretty cool. And that all happens with these two little switches right here. Now, the other thing we're doing in this one is we have a lot of cool lighting. So we have up lighting and all the skylight sections. We have dimmable white light and then we have LED color lights that go in. As well as your standard down lighting. Now that also happens above each of these cabinets here and here. And we also have it going in the toe kick as well. So below the cabinets, you'll have basically walk lighting, but a little more than walk lighting, they'll have LED color lights in there as well. Pretty awesome. And then that's also going to be the same case in here. You'll have your lighting strips up in here. On both sides. And the down lighting from above. There's teak tile that goes into these wall sections over here. And as you come back into the bedroom on this one, you have a nice big queen size bed back here. Uh, with some closets on either side. And now the closets have up lighting in them. So you'll have both the LED white and the LED RGB colored strip. So, you're gonna have a lot of really cool lighting in this trailer. You can see the uh, custom teak floor. Now this floor is designed to be flushed out with the other floor. The whole floor is a wet bath, so all the water can go directly through. But as you transition into the main area, very little height difference. What you working on, Lou? I'm setting this shelf right now. So basically, I have to cut the shelf normally. But the trick is because this wall is curved, I have to add an angle to the back to close up the gaps. So I'm just figuring out the angle right now and then off the table saw I cut it. So this is what we're working on right now to try to get out the door. And here we're getting all of our electrical sets. We got six 100 amp hour lithium ion batteries going down underneath the couch here. In here we'll have our electrical panel with our 12 volt fuses and our 110 breakers. Up above here will be where we have all of our displays. So you'll have your solar, your tank displays. We also have all the controls for the skylights which you can see are open right now. Pretty cool.
front we have the kitchen where we're just getting the Corian countertops finished. Drawers are in once we get the countertop set. We'll be moving on to setting all of our drawers and the refrigerator. Dinette's pretty much done. It's a workstation right now. The bathroom is pretty close to wrapped up. Uh, we just need to set some of the plumbing fixtures. Uh, the sink will get cut in. It's a vessel sink, so it's going to be sitting on top. There's the space for the toilet down there. Tile's all done. Set up for the doors are all ready. Cabinet storage space and shower wall. That's where the actual faucet and shower fixture is going right there. And then of course you have the skylights in the bathroom as well. So here's kind of from the other side of the bathroom. We're almost to the point where we can start putting in the wood floors. Here's good. some of our batteries. We're using the Renogy lithium ion with the built-in BMSs. There's three of our 100 amp hour batteries. This is kind of your closet space over here, your drawer bank here, your side tables over here. Cold air we turned out the bottom. This will be a flip lid bed, so you can actually flip this up and there's a lot of storage underneath the bed. Now this is obviously a pretty big trailer. <laughs> this is a 34 footer. We're excited to get this one done. This is this has been a unique project. We're all excited to see it completed. Pretty cool. Over here is a little sprinter project that we're getting out. Just got all the paint done and all put together. All the lighting, outlets. That's the controls for the induction cooktop. This one actually has a shower in it. It's covered right now, but there's a teak floor in there. Nice, try to keep it as open as we can. This guy's a biker, so this whole back area is designed simply for him to store four bikes that pull out on a full extension slide so he can access his bikes from the outside. Over here is a pull out tool rack. A little extra room for a few little knickknacks down in there. I try to grab every inch of space we can for storage. Behind this side panel is water tank, battery storage, all your solar hookups, a little extra charging uh, outlet on the back, uh, nice little work light. Pretty fun project. <laughs> 